Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Thursday the 29th of March and this is my daily video on looking at one example from our stocks signal service on Wave5Trade.com. So in our members area we have both long and short trading opportunity signals every day uh, on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. I'm looking at longs today. Uh, I don't really want to be getting any more trades today, so I'm going to look at the daily time frame. So our members uh, simply click into the long trades, click on the image, and download the spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet spreadsheet for longs today. But I want to go more. I want to look at the daily time frame really. Um, finishing off the quarter. I don't want to carry over any trades over a long weekend as well. Uh, so I'm looking at the daily time frame on potential longs and I've chosen one of these to look at today. So let's have a look at the chart. Okay, so I've chosen CRM on the daily time frame for a potential long today. So before we start anything, those members that have already got the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Trade Station version, but we do have it for Thinkorswim, Ninja Trader, and Multi Charts. Now, to isolate this wave count, a um, little bit more difficult with this one because we do have a low back here in December 2017. But this really wasn't a great trend because we've got this range bound period from about April. Sorry, that was December 2016. Sorry, uh, we've got uh, the range bound period from April 2017. It only really starts to break out in September. So this is not a trend. So what we want to do is isolate our wave count at this low point here during this range bound period then our indicator suite will automatically label the ABC correction we've got the what the wave one the wave two this is the trend that we're interested in here it's labeled the wave three and now the wave four is pulled back so let's have a closer look at this so initially on the signal service, the filters have given us that the 535 oscillators pulled back between 90 and 140%, which is pretty good. Uh, the waveforce pulled back into our automated high probability zones. Now, this is in the red zone, so this is last chance saloon, if you like. Uh, we have um, found initial support. Now, one of the Elliott Wave rules, remember, the wave four cannot pull back beyond the the high of wave one on a long. So this is very close. It's got to hold support today and start to move away. Remember, I'm not looking for an entry today. I'm preparing for next month, next quarter, next week uh, with this potential long trade. So I want it to move away from this support level. If it does do that today and continue next week, we'll look for a good entry there. So we've got the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone. The yellow dots there are part of the new version three strategies, not out yet, uh, but this uh, annotates a, um, a strong bullish move, uh, false breakouts, and it's pulled back against there, and it wants to return and make a new fifth wave high into our automated target zones up here in blue. So entry for this is reasonably simple. We are looking for a high above um, when, uh, sorry, Wednesday's high, uh, Tuesday's high there at 120.23. So again, we're not looking for an entry today. We're looking for this support to hold and start to move away. So in this red zone, if it finds support in here, so 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone here, around about $135. The stop loss is below the wave four there. The, the wave four low is around about 111.34. Because of that sort of price, you need to be around about 111.27, something like that for the stop loss. Entry is 120.23. And the target is around about $135. So we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1 1.6 into our target zone. Nice and conservative entry strategy there. We don't want to go um, too aggressive. We just need that support to hold and to confirm and move away. And what you'll find is it will be above the 6-4 moving average next week um, when we go into to trading this. And 6-4 moving average high here 
the green moving average is part of our entry strategy so this is preparing for next week good potential long uh, on the daily for CRM so that's it for today have a great trading day a great Easter weekend and I'll speak to you all next week